Well, I, I think it's two things for me, Katie. One, uh, we talked about 19, um, you know, whatever our road record was last year. We know that we have to be a team that can travel, beat the best teams in the NBA on the road, and to do that, you have to bring the defense. And, and I felt our defense tonight was, uh, was outstanding across the board, and we'll get into that. Uh, and the other thing I'm proud of is that winning a championship, I did, the one thing you worry about is thinking we can just show up this year and we're going to win. And that's not the case. This is a brand new season. What we did last year, although magical in nature, has nothing to do with this season. And I think our players, the way they're playing, is very early. But after three games, our guys are playing with the requisite mindset that you need to if you're going to be a team that can try to win another championship. So proud of the group. Great job defensively. Great job on the glass tonight. 34 assists, so many positives. And uh, got some great contributions off the bench as well. Was it a part of the plan tonight to have MPJ stagger with the second unit, or did he? Was that sort of just a product of him playing really well in the first quarter? Yeah, each, each night is to read, depending on who, who's playing with who. Uh, read, each game takes on its own personality. We read the game and kind of adjust accordingly. But yeah, I thought Michael was, you know, he's been rebounding at a high level. But it was great to see him make shots tonight. I, I think for him, probably take a deep breath. Four or seven from three, nine rebounds, 20 points. I thought Michael was very efficient in the 25 minutes that he played. Coach, did the bench pass the eye test tonight? You tell me. Yeah. We're yeah, I mean, they, I mean, Peyton Watson, uh, what I thought was outstanding, um, you know, 17 points. Uh, CB, 13 points, but more impressive that he had seven assists, no turnovers as a second-year player, and seven rebounds, so 13, seven, and seven. Uh, Reggie, six assists, did a lot, a lot of good things. Zeke battling on the glass. And it was great to see Julian get his, you know, uh, Colin, Hunter, Justin, kind of get in there late. And, um, you know, you appreciate a veteran like Justin Holiday for going out there and playing, even though it's late in the game. Um, but, yeah, I thought everybody that got a chance to play tonight contributed to the win. You know, someone's made when you get great draft picks or even that perfect free agent that comes in. You guys. Two years now, it seems like you've added little veteran guys that will sit on the bench. Because you've been around enough, I've seen enough too, that those guys can destroy a team too. And you guys have picked right with the guys that seem to come off the bench with veterans. Well, I, I think um, whenever we discuss bringing anybody in, it, it's, it's never just about the talent. Because as you know, Scott, from playing in the league, uh, talent is a given. You know, everybody's got to have talent. but. But we identify guys that are Denver Nugget players, and that means they have high character, and they understand that they're walking into a culture and a locker room that is selfless. And that starts from Nicole Jokic all the way down to man number 18. And um, if guys aren't willing to, you know, buy into that, then this is not the place for them. You know, it's nothing personal, but we, we need the right kind of guy for us to continue to thrive and have our culture be what it is. You mentioned the other day wanting to be hard on Peyton Watson. How pleased are you with? how he's responded to the conversation that you had with him. Oh, extremely. I mean, but, you know, you just got to, with young guys, you know, when they have success, sometimes they, they, they forget why they've had success. You know, they, they start thinking, like, yeah, I'm pretty good. And in this business, once you kind of start relaxing, and I'm not saying he'll do this because I won't let him, um, you know, but he's just got to continue to do what he's been doing, be locked in mentally, play extremely hard. Good things happen when you play hard. You know, um, so I, I love the way Peyton's playing. He's playing very aggressive and confident on offense. He's being disruptive on defense, and uh, he's helping us in a lot of different areas. So to have young guys out there playing at that level is, uh, is really going to help us uh, as we move forward, not just this year, but for many years to come. What was holding SGA to seven points a product of? Well, one, obviously him having a, an off night. You know, he's a first-team All-NBA player for a reason. Uh, and that happens to players over 82 games. Um, but then you got to credit guys like Contavious Caldwell Pope, who I think, um, I think is an All NBA defender. You know, we asked him to guard the best players, 82 regular season games and 20 playoff games last year, and um, he's totally committed to that. He understands that, that that's his greatest gift to this basketball team. So I think KCP does a great job. But when you stop a guy like Shea. It's never just on that one player. We switch a lot in our, in our different coverages. Um, Nicole has got to be you know, helping out, Aaron, Jamal, Michael, and guys off the bench. So I think guys really locked into guarding a guy that's capable of dominating a game. 
and um, so I give a lot of credit to Kay, but also to everybody else that was out there in, in giving the necessary help to stop a guy like Shea. One more. Did KCP get the chain again? Yep, three for is, three. Is there something, is there anything different that he's doing defensively, or is it pretty much just mm -hmm. par for the course for him so far? For yeah, sure? I mean, uh, I think, you know, he was an All-NBA player last year, All-NBA defensive player, and, and he's showing early in the season um, you know, that he should be in that conversation once again. Um, I can't say he's doing anything differently, but he's really, really locked in. He's really, really focused on, on his responsibility, his assignment, and he's going out there and doing it with just, just tremendous discipline and just a tremendous disposition that's allowing him to be disruptive uh, regardless of who he's guarding. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Michael.